Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Planet Crafter 1.0. It is a it's a mixture between survival sandbox and incremental game where you are sent to a uh, uninhabited world and you are to terraform it and make it green and livable, and it's really cool. Unfortunately, I think the 1.0 version wiped my saves, but that's fine. Let's uh, you know what? Let's do maybe not for this one. I'm just gonna start a new game and I'm gonna throw it on custom because I'm weird. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do. Uh, for custom settings, just to make this go a little faster, Terraformation Phase 2, and I'm going to turn on teleporters right from the get-go, namely so I can get around and get from one base to the next without having to backtrack too much. I don't necessarily know how kosher that is. Oh, right, I was going to turn on meteors too because the, those are fun. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't exactly know how... Uh, I don't know why it's showing up here. You know what? I'm going to delete that one so it doesn't break further. Uh... But yeah, I don't know how helpful teleporters are going to be, but it's going to save me some time. Ooh, intro cutscene. That's new. Now let's see where we've landed. Wait. Uh, oh, I'm here? Wait, is this a usual start? No. No. Where the heck am I? I... Oh, I'm in this, like, weird far corner of everything. Okay, so like I said, Survival Sandbox Incremental Game. The entire point of this is that we are... This actually might not be a bad starting point. I think I'm going to build my base over by that lean-to thing, if I can. Uh, we're going to need... We're going to need some iron. I'm not finding a whole lot. Uh, there's some iron. And here's some titanium. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so we build a base and then we start putting down terraforming things to to turn this planet green. Unfortunately, we got to start with the well. Unfortunately, I don't know. We got to start with the like most basic. Uh, grab everything and hope for the best. We barely can even walk like a distance away from our pod. But I think that's honestly kind of cool. It's in the same vein as like, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, Astroneer and whatnot. I guess I would say. So I need a microchip for construction. Deconstruction. Let's get the deconstruction one because that's nice and easy. We can get the first tier of backpack and we can almost get the first tier of. Uh, we don't get almost get the first tier of oxygen tank. That'll give us some leeway. Let's just grab whatever we can. Uh, inventory is full. Oh, because I have to, you know, equip these things. There we go. Nope, didn't grab it. I'm glad I picked a randomized starting point. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. I don't... Oh, no. This is actually the usual starting point. Huh. I picked random, and I guess it just gave me the default. It's just changed a little bit. So we have the torch, but let's start with the construction. Uh, I need silicon and magnesium. If I want to get the flashlight. Though I guess I can't actually do anything flashlight-wise. Uh, let's see. So how do we build again? Q. There we go. So we're going to need iron for wind turbines, iron and titanium for drills. We can't do vegetubes. Teleporter. <laughs> I start with the teleporter, but that does not mean I'm going to be able to do anything with it. I think that actually is probably fine. I didn't really want to get the... Well, I don't know. I don't want to be teleporting all over the place immediately. Uh, and so starting with it kind of ends up being slightly meaningless. I'm still uh, not going to, like, go back and turn it off or anything, but uh, let's see. Neat. Neat that it's not immediately easy, so I actually have to work for this. Uh, huh. I think what we should probably plan on doing more than anything else is abandoning this pod as fast as possible. It's not bad, but its location is... The pod itself is not bad, but the location is terrible. So here's the question. Can I make one of these? Yeah, I think I might actually have enough resources. So let's let's start by building up on top of this hill. It'll give us a little bit better of a view. And we can take a look at things. I wonder how much the world has changed since I last played this. Because the, the last update added... Uh, I don't remember if that was there previously. Maybe we actually just... I mean, I could build all the way up here, but that would be kind of overkill. I see a couple of things. I usually put my base over there. 
I think I'm gonna run this direction. I'm gonna sandwich it between that crashed ship and the caves there. Because last time I was kind of right in this lowland area, which was not bad. I, I did not mind that location, but I think I'd like to get it a little closer to multiple biomes that I'm going to be frequenting. Rather than not. Because this puts us kind of within the range of the cliffs, which I might even be able to build up to. There's a way around, but you could actually, I could totally just build a staircase up to that little ledge and actually get some useful things. But I, I think I'm going to put it right... Right about here, we'll probably want to put it up a little bit so I can actually gather resources below it. And so the rocks aren't in my way. Okay. Warning, low power. There we go. But you don't need power to get oxygen from one of these. Okay, next order of business, can I build some stairs? Yes. It doesn't like it. Hmm. Okay. I forget how to get rid of things. Okay. So let's build another one of these compartments. Iron and titanium. There's the iron. There's some titanium. Hey, we don't care about low power much. I guess I will have to care about these pillars. At some point, I might slap a base slightly, uh, somewhere slightly different. In fact, I probably will, but at least this one's kind of a, a good starting location. Decent amount of space and can be expanded outwards, and yeah, it gives me access to a handful of semi-crucial biomes that I will be using. There we go. Let's get our oxygen back. What else can I make while we're in here? If I can make a craft station, no, I need iron and silicon. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna need a lot of, a lot of things, iron especially. Well, there's the silicon, and I know, I know I can go into that cave there and get some rather useful things early, but I, I'm gonna leave it. I'm going to focus on just getting my base basics going. That is a neat looking cave, though. There, there is a world where I actually put my base in that cave. You know, just kind of unpack it and move it over a little bit, just so it's like this cool giant door thing leading into... Uh, leading into a cavern. There it is. There's the iron I'm looking for. Inventory is full. Oh. Let's eat some space food while we're here. We can get more. All the iron that I have in my area. There's some more. Did I? Oh. You know what? I'm going to drop the ice. I'm going to try and drop the ice. There we go. We'll come back for it. I just need the iron way more at the moment than the ice. Oh, there's a whole crate there. But we need to get a we need to get a storage box down asap and a crafter so i can actually make water so what i was going to say is i'm probably going to i don't know i don't know what my schedule looks like i would like to stream some more of this uh i don't do series much anymore just because uh time and scheduling is nightmarish but i i might try and play a little bit more uh but at some point i'm going to be playing this multiplayer with some friends I just don't know when. Uh, let's see. Tier 1 exoskeleton. So equipment capacity is going to be actually pretty helpful. But I guess big one is going to be, can I get this down? Okay, let's just move everything over. Oh, you know what? Let's grab one of the water bottles. I don't remember if it fills me up always. Fully quench your thirst. Yeah, I'll just bring that with me for now. So let's start with the obvious of snag this. And I think I can deconstruct these, yeah. Which I should be going out of my way for, to do so I don't keep tricking myself into thinking that I found sweet loot in, in a direction. But I, I look forward to eventually playing this with friends because I, I love the idea of specifically like kind of spreading out each person maybe even 
handles kind of a, a different, eh, maybe not cardinal direction, but a different region, grabbing resources and building structures there. Uh, and then eventually we link them up with teleporters and whatnot. Be interesting if we were almost acting independently, like each of us immediately splits up and just goes to the different biomes for various reasons. We'd have some level of like resource distribution issues where, you know, you don't get access to the higher tier stuff. So we'd probably just have like a community storage that we come back every once in a while to. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need magnesium. It's just... There should be one within spitting distance. There it is. You know what? Actually, while I'm out here... Let's just build a couple of these. Get that going. Unfortunately, it means I need more iron. Because I'm pretty sure that was my only supply. Let's see. I forgot how weird and ominous the music is for this game. Is it? Yeah, it is. it's music. It's it's mostly just kind of creepy whooshing, but... Eh. Okay, so we want to get the screens... Do we want to get the screens ASAP? Kind of. Uh, let's take these back. What do we want to do? Do I want to give myself... Yeah. Let's expand my living compartment. Even if it's a little wasteful resource-wise, this way I actually have some space. Oh, accessibility key to rotate quickly. Thank you. That is actually incredibly helpful. Okay, blueprints and energy levels we can't do yet. Vegetube cannot do. Let's see, most of these I don't think I can do yet. Yeah, because we don't have enough iron. I spent it all. Which I probably should have saved one. Oh well. So other option we do have is I could go this direction. See if there's more. I see I see actually quite a bunch of iron. So let's probably pick up iron and silicon for the most part. I know silicon is... I don't want to say reasonably rare. But a lot of things require it, require it, and I always feel like I'm coming up short. I can snag a bit of titanium. Most things require iron, but iron is usually fairly plentiful. And so I can just go out adventuring. I Actually, we should probably snag magnesium, seeing as we were low on it earlier that sparkle on the sands. There's just something about it. It just, I don't know. It's a neat visual effect. I know deserts aren't actually that sparkly. Okay, we... We should just go back here. Last piece of iron. Sec nope, last piece of iron. I think I got enough time. I do wish the turbines spun. Oh, they do. I was just too far away. Draw distance and whatnot. Fair enough. Reach a blue sky. 175,000 TI. I'm at 61. 62. I mean, at least it's going up. This is why I turned up the terraforming speed. Effectively, it just makes every building twice as effective. But this game is fairly exponential in how it functions. Okay, so we're going to need something here. Let's just... uh. Put one of these here. Okay. And one of these here. The bottom thing on that screen is specifically for um, the terraformation index, which is kind of pointless to me because I can see that at all times. Okay. We're going to need some more power. Let's go take a look at what we're at. We also have craft screen progress, vegetube, and the heater. Well, I don't think we even know how to make progress. The progress screen yet. Okay. Well. Oh, uh, 
No, I have I have no more iron. Oh, I did actually pick up some aluminum. Oh, wait, no. We have a whole second storage crate right here. Perfect. Well, let's let's do a quaff. I guess next order of business, we need way more iron. So I might even want to go back to that original pod that I was in. See what I can get there. Uh, what I was thinking is we kind of speed run for that heater. Get that going. Because we should be able to find plenty of... Uh, you know, I don't actually remember the name of the resource. We should be able to find an amount of it in here. Yeah, there it is. And I'll stag what iron I can find. What is this? Oh, that's titanium, but it's lit different. Huh. I think if I had one complaint about this game, it would be the fact that you just run like a normal person. I kind of actively wish I could uh, bounce like an astronaut. Not that it matters too much, but there is something really joyous about Astroneer's movement, specifically. Iridium. There we go. You know, just bouncing along, uh, kind of freely. Okay, more silicon. I don't know if we need it. I don't know what this thing here is. Oh, it's ice. It's ice is just lit weird. I might actually be pushing it here. Luckily, there's no consequences for passing out in this, but I should keep an eye on that better. Oh, did I? I did. I went out the wrong entrance. Also, it's okay. I know where my stuff is. Hello, I'm back. Oh, right. And there's no consequences. So, actually, I can just use death as a means of teleportation. Which is... It's, it's, it's a bit dark. Okay, let's just move everything over. Do we go back in? Uh, yeah. Okay, what do I need for a heater? Well, actually, what do I need for turbines? Iron. Okay, screw it. We're just we're just heading back to the original pod. There's a bunch of iron and containers around there, and I can grab some things. Uh, including the oxygen, which I think we're going to need. At some point, I also want to go into the ships. Oh, you know what I should do? Let's just grab enough that I can build, like, a, a quick feeder base. So we need three iron, two titanium, and a silicon. We're going to go slap like a mini base right outside one of these. I now understand why I'd put my base where I had put my base in the past because it was right in the middle of a really rich resource vein field. The whole starting area is just absolutely littered with goodies. And so to some degree, I'm, I'm handicapping myself with my current position. Because I actually have to walk to get all the good stuff. It's fine. Eventually, we get considerably faster. Oh, right. Take that back. Inventory is full, which is good because I'm actually starting to run out of oxygen again. I could be completely silly and just specifically start death warping on purpose. But that feels like it's against the spirit of the game. I don't think I'm going to make it here either. Oh boy, the early game on this is a smidge on the rough side. That is two deaths back to back. Uh, well, all things considered, we're alive again. And since we don't drop anything, I don't have to go get it. I reflexively do, because that's what the original version of this game had, but... I don't know. Call me lazy. Let's grab another one of those. Uh, let's see, how much... I got plenty of iron left, actually. So let's, let's go put a heater down. I think maybe what I will do is use this as a temporary base, but also a large heater... 
room. Okay, do we know how to make the... Oh, here we go, blueprints. What do I need for the progress screen? Heat. Fair bit of it. Yeah, let's just build a couple of heaters. It's probably going to crash my power setup. How much How much power do we have? Okay, so... I should stop. Go put another wind turbine down. Wind turbines get me how much? 1.2 on a per windmill basis. We'll get better ones. I just want to get the basics down. Okay. T2 backpack. Let's uh let's grab an armful of stuff and then head back. Cause we're gonna need that. Where we're going, yeah. I'm I'm not sure. I you know what? I'm reasonably glad they didn't fix that bug. As silly as it sounds, it's one of those where it's like being jump scared by resources flying weirdly into your laser. There's something about that that's just kind of amusing to me and has remained amusing this whole time. I don't know. Do we Do we skip making the backpack for a hot second? It's lightly tempting. We're right next to a ship. Ships usually have a decent amount of goodies in them. Let's see. Yeah, might as well. Oh, you know what I could have done previously? Ooh, they actually, I think they changed this so the entryway would look better. get our oxygen back and I'm just gonna get a chest down we're gonna have to move things out of this but at least this way I have just enough space that I can loot this yeah it's a, a bridge I think previously you just entered into the back of this T2 so there's a secret door there oh you know what you know who's a goofus this guy I wish the lighting was a little bit better yeah, I don't have a flashlight, so I'm just going to have to take all this stuff and head home. We'll grab another bunch of resources as we go, but uh, yeah, without a flashlight, I can't actually see what I'm doing. I might want to look into the T2 deconstruction chip before I go back in, see how far along I need, need for that. Because yeah, there's secret walls on a lot of these ships, and I want to bust those open. Should probably also look into that veg tube, though I don't currently have my seed. It's back at the previous base. Oh, is it even a base if it's an escape pod? Let's see. What else, what else am I? Where is my head at? I don't know. It's one of those where I usually don't play games a second time. I'm kind of a, I don't want to say a one and done kind of guy, but it's a, when I cover a game, I usually cover it once, unless it's a roguelike. There are very few other games that I'll like return to often, and my, I, I find my commentary has a little bit of a, a issue with it, if only because it's like, there's no thrill of discovery anymore. Here it's kind of a thrill of rediscovery, which I do actually think is kind of neat. Okay, let's just get rid of the construction chip. There we go. So what do we need for the T2 backpack? Take off the T1, except for I'm going to need some inventory space. Or no, it just... Okay, there we go. That's better. So what else can I make? Oxygen tank. Better one. So we need just titanium. I really do wish that this had AOE crafting. 
but it's fine. Okay, so where are we at? So we got the better oxygen tank. We're actually kind of getting there on the drill. Oh, and I guess I can actually just skip straight to the T2 Vegetube. Where is the deconstruction ship? Unless it's actually something I have to unlock elsewhere. Because that's blueprint um, pinning. I'm not seeing a deconstruction, so I think we have to go elsewhere and do other things. Alright. I think I think what we do is grab food and water. We do have an eggplant seed, but we can't. Oddly enough, that doesn't count as a, a plant for what I need to do. Oh, now we now we have solar panels. So that's cobalt cobalt and silicon. So I might as well get those up. It still amuses me to no end that I can just put any of my generating structures anywhere uh, without really much of a thought of, does this make any sense? You know, there's no wires or anything like that. It's just a, well, this is where the, oh, I guess I can't put the solar panels on rocks. But it's not like you have to link them up or anything. Uh, which is equal parts nice. It's a little and, uh, Anti, anti, anti immersive. Uh, I'm so used to having to link these things up, like in Moonbase or Astroneer and whatnot. And so having something that I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna slap this wherever it feel, wherever I feel like. It feels strange to me. But on the flip side, the strangeness also comes with the benefit of uh, con sheer convenience, which I do appreciate. I forgot to make that flashlight, didn't I? That's okay. Let's just grab a little bit more iron. I guess let's pop back in here and grab that oxygen. Uh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go for that crate over there since it's going to keep taunting me. There we go. Cuz I know there's goodies to be had in here. Oh, actually is it aluminum? It is aluminum. Dang. This was uh, a haul. I don't think we want to go too deep into this. Just because getting out is going to be a mild pain. Okay. Anything else? Not over much. How's my inventory? Very full. So yeah, let's take this back, make that flashlight, and then actually start exploring the ships. Wherever the deconstruction ship is, it's something that I likely have to find. And it might be one of those that is randomly placed in one of these ships, and I just have to find the right one. Or who knows? I, I'm sure I could look it up. But why would I do that? Sometimes I will look things up with these games, where it's just kind of like, eh. I don't, I don't care to really put the time into finding this thing, especially if it's rare or difficult, or I've already been playing for 10 hours, and please just tell me where, you know, Durgat's finger bone is. Oh, it's hidden on this one guy that I already killed, and I just forgot to loot him somehow. You know, little stuff like that, where it's like, this really doesn't improve my experience having to go and find it. Let's see. I kind of wish I could actually stack the crates. But eventually we get the bigger storage lockers and that solves a lot of problems. So, I don't think I can do much here. I suppose the one thing I could do, we have a lot of power. We could get as many heaters as we can snag. Because I'm pretty sure a heater is just ah, silicon. Look on an iron. Less of the iron than I thought. There we go. Uh, 
At some point, I'll have to come back and rip this whole thing. Oh, you... Press control. Oh, to change constructions. So I don't have to pull it up in my inventory every time. Cool. Okay, so how are we doing on power before I do too much more? Actually, fine. Those two solar panels are vastly better than these seven wind turbines I put down. So that puts us in a really nice spot. And it looks like we're we're getting there as far as heat goes. But I'm probably going to want the oxygen kind of ASAP. Okay. I like it how the sandstorm is just a filter over my screen. I mean, it makes perfect sense. But... Watching it kind of struggle a little bit as I was leaving the uh, capsule, the this safe room. Base? Is it a base? Does it qualify? Should it qualify as a base? Not at this point, no. Yeah, so where was the deconstructible? It was these these debris. Okay, I can snag that. Oh, we can we can actually go through here. And there's some seeds. Anything else? I'm just gonna leave deconstruction on for the time being. I really think you could deconstruct the chair. Unfortunately, my inventory is full, so we're immediately just going back out again. I wish I could deconstruct more than just the the debris, the chairs, the the like weird stretcher things, stuff like that. Uh, let's take one of these, build mother. This is probably just going to be mostly a storage base for now. Because what I want to do is just run into the ship like as many times as I need, grab everything, and then only come back when I have that deconstruction chip so we can figure out where all the goodies are. Yeah, we have a T2 heater here, which is worth its weight. Okay, blueprint microchip. There, There's that up there, which very much looks like a safe, but it's not, and it bugs me. Okay, and we also have more technical debris. Those might actually just be a resource node than anything else. Oh, there is more. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to put another one of these down. There we go. It's a little time consuming, but it's better than just running around grabbing stuff off the ground. I would like to get the auto harvesters at some point, the mining tools, but a. Hey. Anything else here? Yeah, technical debris, but I th think that's the thing around the corner. Whatever this is doesn't open. It might never, or it w had... I don't remember. Alright, grab it all. And I think that's it for this thing. At least until we can get to the other side of the technical debris. So I'll have to come back here as soon as we get access to that. And maybe it's one of those that we actually are going to get it fairly quickly. I, I legitimately do not remember. Considering we're already up to T3 backpacks, it doesn't feel like it's impossible. Okay, do we have anything else? What I want to grab is mostly the useful stuff. I don't know if fabric's that good at the moment. I'll come back. But I want to get the uh, the oxygen tubes down. Actually, I can... Magnesium, silicon, and two ice? No. We'll, we'll get it when we... 
after we've dropped off some of this stuff. Because I think the, I, the oxygen producing tubes need to be just scattered around outside. But now we've got a bunch of reasonably good plants. I might as well get that started. Okay, so do I decode a blueprint here? Yes. Mining speed. And agility boots. Moon boots! I now go fast. Do I want the mine? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I've got five of these, in fact. Let's move this over. Equip this. Move that over as well. Okay, so what do I need for veggie tubes? Magnesium, silicon, iron, and two ice. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab the iron for now. So we need to find ice and silicon out there. At least some of it's reasonably easy to find. Nope. You know, earlier I said silicon was, like, weirdly rare. This is why... Oh, do I actually have to put these veggie tubes? Or... No? Yeah, looks like I actually have to have these inside the base. I thought there were... Oh, no, it's the tree planters and the flower planters. Those are the ones you put outside. Fine, let's just uh, load up on oxygen. I'll drink my water. I'll just go get my silicon. Shoot. It's fine. There's some over there. Okay. Yeah, let's just have the back half of this be veggie tube. That should be a decent amount of oxygen right right there. Yeah, if these have to go inside. So I've got enough for I need one more ice and three silicon. There's the silicon. There's actually a couple of silicon over here. And I think I saw ice back the other direction. I was hoping to grab kind of both here and there, but it's fine. Hey, what I should do is probably be somewhat single-minded and just start harvesting everything in a wide radius. It's one of those where the long, uh, the more I leave these resources scattered around, uh, hmm, I. I'm actually curious about the efficiency of this. Is it better for me to just do hard sweeps and grab everything, or to be a little bit more directed and only grab what I absolutely need and kind of go to and from? I think from a terraforming perspective, it's it's hard to say, because so much of terraforming is locked to how many of a structure you have or if you even have a structure. So for example, right now we only have the um, first tier heaters and the first tier drills, the moment you get up to the T2 drills, like, all of the previous tier becomes meaningless. Uh, it's the same thing with uh, power generation, for example. I had those little windmills a uh, collection of seven of them, and they pale in comparison to two solar panels. And so, when I mention that this is an incremental game I'm, I'm not exaggerating like so much of it is about getting to certain tech tiers or progression tiers and using that to propel yourself upwards much more quickly uh, looks like I don't have enough ice okay And magnesium, dang. Yeah, 
because I want to get as many of these down as I can. You know what? Actually, let's let's grab the seeds. Because I'm probably going to be locking these away. Oh, the Lerma... Oh, the Lerma seed's probably just 100%. Yeah, it is producing some level of oxygen. Compared to these, though, not nearly as much. But that's fine. Because now we have the indoor ladder. Yeah, this is going to be cranking up real quick. Uh, let's see. So where are we at? I guess I might as well make the uh, progress screen. We're getting there on the drill. Yeah, progress needs silicon, which pretty sure I do not have. Yeah, so let's let's just go out of our way, grab everything kind of in our immediate vicinity. One of the other reasons why I kind of want to do this is if I render an area functionally barren, I might just pack up and leave. You know, let it run, but mostly just ignore its existence uh, and set up a, a base closer to more resources. And just kind of rinse and repeat. Eventually, we'll have to have a much more centralized location. But I, I do wonder if it is the play to keep bringing all of my resources back to one location. Or if it's better for me to just build a base, hit a kind of tech tier, say, all right, good enough, leave, set up a new base, uh, do whatever is like regionally more available there. So if it's like, Hey, this is the one with all the iridium. Build a bunch of heat machines in the cave. I guess the one problem would be getting the rest of the resources for the heat machine in the cave. Okay. Uh, right. I was going to do progress. So now we can see how we're doing. So next stage is blue sky, but it is going to take a time. So now what? Well, oh, we have the T2 heaters. What does that require? Aluminum, which is not easy to come by. Okay, I, I need silicon iron as well. Iridium, but what I'm probably going to want to do is actually start ripping up these old heaters to replace them with their bigger siblings. I'm I'm probably going to have to build and then rip some of these up. Do I have enough space? I do not. Just put those away for the time being. I just want enough space that I can build that one there. Unfortunately for me. I'm just shy. It's fine. Grab it. Now we can now we can actually hopefully get a tidier setup here. And then we're probably gonna have to worry about power because I can only assume these things are power hogs compared to their lesser brethren. Okay, I need one titanium and one aluminum. I don't actually know if we have any more aluminum. Yeah, we're out. And that, that stuff is not the most common in this area. So I'll probably have to go work on that. All right, let's see where we're at progress-wise. So I guess, actually, the other thing I might want to do is just get the drills down. T2 drill. Because pressure we're kind of stuck with. T2 drill is just iron and titanium in large quantities.
Uh, let's see. So we have one, two, three. We can do four. Well, let's take a look at our power. Not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be, but we might want to look into solar panels. So cobalt and silicon. I'll just take my supply of silicon while we're here. All right. And the other thing I might want to do as soon as I've got these solar panels down is actually rip these up because they're not doing me much good. Okay, T2 drills. Yeah. Because I need a source of iron anyway. There we go. Out of power. Uh, let's see. So I have... I just need cobalt. I see an amount of it. Rip my power until I get it back on, though. Uh, that's fine. Or, I guess rip my power, yes. But mostly rip my, my terraform, uh, terraformation index. Being out of power for a while is... I mean, obviously not going to set us back. That's not possible. I don't think you can lose progress in this game. But it's still a wasted potential. Even if, I mean, we're just cruising along at this point. It's part of the reason why I wanted to go at double speed is it does mean I have to work less for this. Uh, and I can very much see complaints against that kind of thing. And we have the T2 solar panels already. Silicon and aluminum, that's a slight issue. I guess we're going to have to go get large quantities of aluminum, and I, uh, I only vaguely remember where an amount is. Well, so be it. We should get back. Can I actually build one of these real quick? I don't need to go back to base to get my oxygen back. I can just uh, build an oxygen compartment. And then go back. I probably could have done that the last couple of times that I suffocated too, which is, you know, a bit of a whoops, but not a, not a huge one. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go out of our way for aluminum. Two of our, at least two of our major progression items at this point are blocked behind having a supply. I know there's some on the cliffs behind the base, and then I know there's a bunch in that kind of like more crystally looking rock over there. So I think we might as well go do both. Oh good, I can actually eat from here. Okay, let's bring iron, titanium, silicon along. This way I can actually build a base. Do we have more water? No. So we should fix that. The other one was T2 Exoskeleton. Yeah, also needs the aluminum. So let's go get that aluminum. Aluminium. Yeah, I could go up there. It's just hard to get in there. You know what? All things considered fine. We'll just grab resources as we go. Do we grab resources as we go? That one's tough, actually. Because if I grab too much, we can't store things. Well, does that matter? Because what I'm going to do is probably put down like a, a basic basic base, put up some storage, drop off all this junk that I'm just hoovering up as I go by. Go back out there, grab... Uh, you know, grab all of the aluminum and then run back to my current base. I guess the main question is, do I 
need to. Well, no, that is that is where most of my storage is. I guess that's the one downside. I think once we have the teleporters, a lot of these, these weird decisions kind of go moot. Because then it's just like, I'm just going to walk back to the base with all the good stuff. And so all I need to do whenever I'm exploring is just slap down a new base and have just enough supplies that it can build one teleporter. And then it doesn't matter anymore. Got the comms antenna. Yeah. There's the aluminum. We also have transmissions. Unfortunately, I am kind of just repeating a lot of the same decisions I made last time. I think so much of it is just because I know it works. Because, yeah, I slapped down a base right there the last time I played this, too. Just as I think I got the communication antenna. And so this was kind of my comms base. Huh. This is not the best location. Oh, my inventory is full. I don't actually know what resource is being dropped here. I think that's one of the rarer ones. Okay, can I make another one of these? Yes. So we now have the food grower. Have this back. Right, let's get out here and actually find what it is. Because it's cobalt? Is it just a cobalt meteors? Yeah, uh, cobalt and whatever this is. Iron. Huh. I guess the meteors don't just drop rare resources anymore. They actually just do drop the basics. Uh, you know, that's kind of fine. I almost kind of wish you could, you could make, like, asteroid nets. Effectively pick up everything that is... Oof. Uh, let's see, pick up everything that kind of falls your direction, kind of pull them in and throw them in a grinder. That would be really, maybe overly high tech for this. But cool. Grab the iron. This base is just going to be Crate City. But that is kind of the point. I'll have to reorganize it reorganize it at some point so we can actually hold all of this stuff. I thought that I guess this isn't one of the asteroids that fell. I wonder if the resources from them despawns that fast. I think it does. Gosh, iron is glittery. I guess it makes sense. There's no oxygen, so it doesn't oxidize. There's a bunch of resources. Yeah, cobalt, some other things. Did me an aluminum. Yeah, so I wonder if the asteroids are, are less specifically focused now. Previously, we would drop very specific things. You know, iridium, uranium, so on and so forth. Now it seems to just be a smattering of resources, which actually makes way more sense. That kind of does it, actually? I don't know. I guess it depends. Because a lot of a lot of asteroids are made up of like a wide variety of resources. But a lot of them are, you know, just single type. Let's see. This must have been another impact point. I'll take it. 
Especially if it's going to give me free uh, spare aluminum. Aluminium. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. Oh, is this is this a cave? No. It's a sort of cave. I'll just take that back with me. I'll have to come back back for this one, but right now I am actually kind of limited on time. Is there just a whole supply just outside of my base that I left behind or that I missed? I suppose so. Okay. So free resources abound, which is mostly nice. I think let's uh let's go check out that one container and then probably book it back home. First steps, reach a blue sky. Uh actually maybe not as far off as I thought, because that's 175,000 TI. I'm currently at 47 KTI. Does that mean I'm at 47,000 already? Huh. Aluminum vein. Or maybe not. Oh, that's just some cobalt. It was very shiny for a moment and I got excited. I just want to get rid of these crates so I don't have to worry about like, oh, you know, is that a crate I haven't looted yet? Even if it means leaving resource behind. It's only cobalt. We'll get more of that. Okay, so I think what we do, locker, storage. Okay, we get back in here. I think here's what I'd start with. We're going to make this a bit wider. So locker storage is amazing. There's something still inside? This one? I see, I was looking at a different one. I think this still had a little bit more. And just when I was gearing up to roll out, we immediately gain a way more, well, I was going to call it carry capacity, way more storage capacity. Oh, I could have moved that back a bit, whatever. I don't know. I will... Probably tear up both of these for now. Give me that iron. Put that there. Grab, move. And we'll, ex we'll extend these storage crates elsewhere. I think this area is always going to be just kind of a big resource base. So our big issue... To some degrees, I'm I'm gonna need some water. Let's let's just make a basic crafter. They're not that expensive power wise, and this way I can actually make water if I need it. We have a little bit of food, and I might even want to look into a food tube at some point. Okay, so now that I've done that, uh, what was the other thing I could make? I can make a T3 backpack. Let's actually start with that. Oh, no, it's silicon. Because that'll, that'll last me for a while. All right, back out. Let's just keep grabbing things. We might as well try and loot much of this biome. Until there's nothing left. I could also consider... I mean, con uh, considering we have so much aluminum... One of the main reasons why we're coming out here. 
is so I could build, like, the better solar panels. We might just want to make the better solar panels here. Luckily, this game doesn't actually care what time of day it is or even how well lit an area is. A solar panel anywhere outside is considered fully lit. Which is nice, because I've definitely played some of these where you really have to care about, like, oh man, my solar panel is in a suboptimum position. I need to get it out of there, because I am not getting nearly as much juice as I'd like. I don't know, I can accept either. It It's one of those where it goes back to the idea of, like, I almost wish this was a little bit more realistic, because it feels like I'd, I'd have to be more methodical. Right now, it feels like I'm just kind of cruising uh how would I describe it it's like you're on a road with no twists or turns you just can go and some amount of that just inspires laziness and sloppy driving I should probably organize these at some point uh well all things considered let's take a look oh we can even make the t3 drills Let's start with the power, though. So we need two cobalts and kind of one of everything else. Uh, let's see. Fortunately, eh, no, there is actually a decent amount of silicon in this area. Okay, I don't know how many that's going to get me, but it's probably a couple. What am I lacking? Cobalt and iron. Oh no, that's just wind. I wasn't sure if we'd gotten, if we hadn't... Did that hit my base? It did. Alright. Let's see if any of these dropped anything good. This one's... got titanium in it. Unfortunately, this is kind of a bad place for me to be hunting for drops from meteor impacts. Uh, let's leave that for the time being. We've got a storage crate. I should go for those. Where are all the goodies? You can kind of see them in the mix. There we go. So I guess there was one over here. Maybe some of them just aren't as forthcoming. Or maybe it just rolls. Let's just eat the space food. I cranked up the uh, meteors by 50%. Mostly just from the perspective of why not? It's free resources that I don't have to worry about mining or going out of my way to find. Let's see. You know what I should have actually done? I should have built some of these drills. I need is like an iron. Make another. Really wish it would let me put these in really silly and compromising locations. But it's fine. Okay. Yeah, it just seems to be iron and aluminum over and over and over again. Or iron, titanium, and aluminum. Two, three, four. There we go. That should be enough. Then I'll have to think about power again because I'm probably going to be running low. Or I didn't get enough aluminum. Let's look around. We've got a couple more meteor impact spots that probably have goodies for me.
Maybe. That's silicon. Anything else in the immediate area? Probably. Okay, get another drill down. We kind of want to keep the drills together. Uh, just so whenever we get the T4 drills, I can come back and destroy the whole thing. And replace them with their better iteration. Okay, what about you? Yeah, aluminum. Oh, the, uh... The drops are on the roof. That's funny. Alright. Grab one of these. Let's let's just get one more T2 solar panel and I'm short one iron. There we go. There we go. I wonder if these can hurt you. They cannot. I feel like that should be extremely dangerous. Like do not get do not pass go territory, but hey, here we are. Okay, you know other things that we can do? This is kind of sloppy, but let's let's just do some of the absolute basics while we're here. Because I have at least two blueprint chips I can pop open. So mining speed and D2 agility boots. So super alloy and fabric, which I think we have just enough. No. Oh. We don't have the fabric. All right. Oh, the agility boots would have been nice. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look. What else do we have? Oh, are we close to the biodome? We kind of are. We need more heat. And we're actually getting close to the nuclear reactor. Vegetube was slow. This is going to take a while. Advanced crafting stations probably are next. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. All right, well, one way or another, I think this is actually a good stopping point, at least for now. I will try and pick this back up again if people are interested and continue a playthrough. Or we might just have to wait until uh, the Sunday stream crew says, like, yeah, let's play some Planet Crafter. I don't know how interested they're all going to be. I know a Vax into it, but the eh, I think Madi would be fine. We'll see. Uh, but I think this would be a lot of fun with a group of friends running around kind of building things concurrently each person splitting into different locations you know somebody going into the uh, iridium caves and and making themselves uh, heat king effectively and then somebody else you know going out here and getting a bunch of uh, aluminum for both drills and power and whatnot and kind of working together in that sense I think that could be a lot of fun solo uh, Solo, I just get to do everything myself, but uh, it means everything takes a little bit, a little bit longer. Anyway, I guess with all of that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out and show off. And of course, if you want to pick up Planet Crafter yourself, it is available now on Steam uh, in 1.0. So go check it out. It's a lot of fun. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.